All right, y'all, we're gonna show y'all how to actually change the oil. This is like a 5.3 liter, 1500, 2001 Chevy truck. We're gonna change the oil, this is two wheel drive, pretty simple. Either way, here's what you gotta have. Just need the, uh, whatever the hell this thing is, goes over top of the oil filter. You got a ratchet extension, 15 millimeter socket, and you need a hammer, make it look a little bit better anyways. It makes it easier, let's put it that way. You need an oil pan, a jack stand, and another little baby jack right up there. So we just have the secondary jack stand just for support. Now we're gonna go up underneath here and we're going to take loose the oil filter. There we go. Okay, y'all, you wanna take this oil pan, place it right underneath the bung hole right there, the drain plug to uh, have all your oil go in. You wanna also have it right underneath your oil filter so that way it all will go into the pan. Pay close attention. Now we're gonna bust loose the uh, oil filter and the drain plug. Okay, first you wanna get your oil filter broke loose which I already did. Well, apparently I didn't do it very good, did I? Let's knock it up on there all the way. Knock over the camera. See, they make this look easy everywhere else, don't they? And this is the right filter for it too, or the socket for it. There we go, now we get it. Okay, as far as we're gonna take that, I can get that with my hand so that way it don't leak everywhere if I just didn't make it go too far. And we are looking for the wrench. Where are they? The hell is the... Okay, now as far as the wrench, just put it on there. We'll just kind of put the camera over there. I can't even see that. It's like it's blocking or something. Who knows? Do, 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 do. There's the wrench. Look at that. We can kind of see it. Oh, heck. Who knows? But either way, what we're going to do with the wrench, because most time these don't come loose because you want to put them back on real tight. So we're going to push it, and as you see, I'm kind of bending the wrench a little bit. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to take the hammer, and now I'm not in the great, greatest position to hit this thing right now. And we're just going to tap it a little bit. It makes it so much easier. Now you got them both loose, and it's leaking on the ground. So that's pretty good, ain't it? So now we're going to drain it, and I'm going to move my camera so oil don't go everywhere. But also going to put the drain pan back underneath of it. It's going to shoot out of way, so we're going to pull the drain plug first. And then once it slows down, we're going to take it and we're going to shove it forward towards the front of the vehicle. And then we're going to scoot it over underneath the oil filter and we're going to get it. Okay, we're going to try to do this so y'all can actually see it come out. And if it gets on the camera, it's waterproof. I guess we'll find out if it's oilproof. Look at that, that, that is some black oil right there. All right, we're gonna let that drain. Also on your drain plug, you need to clean off the end of it. It does have a magnet. So clean it off, because it always has metal shavings. You can see them on there a little bit, even though the camera's blurry. I know y'all can see, y'all got x-ray vision. It'll be all right. Okay, so get your drain plug cleaned off real good. And before all the oil drains, you hurry up and plug this back in there and keep half that oil so that way you save some money. I'm just kidding. Make sure it drains for a while. You see it moving. Now it's going towards the front of the drain pan right there. I'm going to set this plug out. And be sure to clean, after it finishes draining, clean around where your drain plug is right there with a paper towel. And also up here where your oil filter is, where the seal goes up there on top right here. You want to seal it also, or seal it. You want to clean it. Now we're going to scoot our pan up. We're going to get a little more oily. And we're gonna let that drain for just a second because I don't wanna be covered completely. I usually wear gloves, but uh, I'm already under here, so we're, uh, we're getting it now, ain't we? So once that finishes draining, which we're gonna wait just a few. <laughs> we'll have to fast forward this video. Do, 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 do. Can you grab me another paper towel? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and drain, drop this off. It's still running, but there ain't enough there to cause too much of an issue as long as I don't let this oil filter drop sideways. If I let it drop sideways, it's really gonna spill everywhere. And there we go. 
we are good. We're going to let that finish draining. And that now that that's draining from all up in the engine. That ain't from the oil pan right there. Of course, the lower one is. And this thing takes. Uh, I put in a full six quarts in this thing. When you fill it back up. Dun 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 dun. dun. We're still waiting on the drainage. We will get there. All right. And that'll be enough oil anyways right now. I need the drain plug back, and I'm going to put that back in there. Oh, right, wait a minute. I ain't putting the drain plug back in, am I? Yep, guess I am. So you just want to tighten it up real good. You put it back in there. And then your oil filter. Now, this is important, y'all. A lot of people just slap an oil filter back on here. That ain't what you want to do with these engines. This ain't what you want to do with any engine. You want to prime this thing. So what you're going to do, let me get out from underneath there, and I'll show you all. I should have already been priming it, but I kind of forgot. No, let me climb back out from underneath here. Okay, we've got our oil in our oil filter. Usually do this inside the garage instead of outside. The... Okay, as far as these, here, let me show y'all. This thing was supposed to be sealed with a uh, container over it, but the lid, the lid still had all the little uh, breakaway marks still good on it, but it didn't have the sealer on it. And maybe they went cheap, probably Chinese, and they started going a little cheaper, saved about a penny by doing that. But uh, either way, here's what I'm talking about, about priming the oil filter. All you do is add your oil in there, Let it kind of overfill there. Another thing you want to do is you want to take your oil, put it around your oil ring right there. It makes it easier to get it off next time. I know it ain't just going to spin off because we're going to put this thing on extra tight. So after I make a mess right here, it's still soaking through to the other side of the oil filter. So we're going to add some more. Now what this does is it automatically primes everything so you ain't running your bearings dry for a minute or anything whenever you actually fire it up. I mean, it might have an air pocket in there, but at least you ain't running it completely dry whenever you do it. So, basically just priming your oil pump and your bearings and everything else so your truck lasts a little bit longer, your car or something else. We're going to say that's enough right there. And then we're just going to put this up underneath there. I am not going to video that, but you, but you all can figure it out. It came off the same way it went on. So just hold it straight up right there because that's the way it goes on and just spin it on there. Make sure you clean the areas that I showed you. You got clean right here where the sill is, where it goes up against the bottom of the engine block. And then we're going to get all this back on and add the oil. Okay. Man, you can't see none on this camera. There's oil filter. Either way, make sure you get the oil filter definitely tight enough so that way it don't spin out. And as far as your drain plug, get your wrench, ratchet, whatever on there. Smack it about two, three times with a hammer, then you know it's tight. Then y'all are good to go. Let's add the oil. Okay, this is for all the people out there that don't know uh, where in the heck the oil is. This is not the oil, this is your brake fluid. This is not the oil, that is your power steering fluid. This is not your oil, that is your windshield washer fluid. So we're gonna move on over here. And most of these say what's actually on them. This is not your oil, that is your engine coolant. We can read, can't we? Hey, look, this one says engine oil. That is where we're going to put it. Then you got your dipsticks, your engine oil dipstick, your transmission fluid dipstick. That's on this 2001 anyway, Chevrolet. So we're gonna add the oil in here. I think we'll use a funnel this time. Now the reason you wanna use the oil filter, oil filter, oil funnel, is because it's way down in there and you're probably still gonna spill some of the oil. But see, I won't because I'm pretty good at this. So then we're just gonna fill it up with this little too small of an oil filter. We really need an oil filter. Oil funnel, really need a bigger one, but we're gonna put this whole doggone thing in here. And then we're going to add another two quarts on top of it to make our six quarts. See, we learned how to add a day, didn't we? There's four quarts in each gallon. So we're going to put, or wait a minute, is there five quarts in this one? Yeah. Hell, I can't add, can I? So we're going to add another quart from another gallon, and then we'll have our six quarts. It used to be four quarts, then they started doing these five quarts. I'll tell you how long I've been doing this anyways. I get it all mixed up, don't I? This takes forever. Make sure y'all get a bigger funnel. This is slow. All 
Okay, I forgot to mention one more thing. Whenever y'all get done, be sure to check your oil. Make sure your dipstick is completely full. Let it settle for a little bit. Start the vehicle. Check your dipstick. Dipstick. Yeah, just about said that wrong, didn't I? Dipstick again after about five minutes of setting sun around there and make sure it's completely full after that and then you're good to go down the road. Okay, and once you get all the oil in there, what you're going to do is you're going to take the key switch. You're going to turn it all the way to the on position. Don't start the truck like I just did. You're going to pump that gas pedal three to five times. I don't give a crap how many you want to do it. I think it'll still work. Let's find out. Then you're going to turn the ignition back off. You're going to turn it back on, and you're going to start it. Now your cha change your engine oil is going to be blinking, and it will go off. There you go. And that's how you reset every 3,000 miles if y'all do it. Some of y'all's probably going to 8,000. Blow your engines up. I'm telling you, 3,000 is where you need to be. I meant to mention one very one very important thing. Remove your jack stand and your jack up there so that way you can actually drive this thing. After everything's all said and done, you got your oil filled back up and everything, you want to take all your oil from this and you want to grab you a funnel and you want to put it back in this because guess what? You can get rid of this oil down here to advance anyways. Pretty sure AutoZone and everybody else does it too. I think antifreeze, but I ain't 100% for sure on that. But you can definitely take your oil back down there, get rid of it, be good to go. We use it on other stuff. I use it for bar chain oil, anything like that. But other than that, that's going to be it on the oil change, y'all. Y'all enjoy. Have a good day. We will see you all on the next one.